guys, it's Amber, and today I'm going to be making the ever so requested tattoo video. I'm just going to be explaining about all these and about all the piercings I've had. We'll start with piercings and because my face is right here. So, first piercing ever was my septum piercing. I did it myself. I made a video. It is like one of the most retardedest videos ever. I ended up piercing it with a safety pin three times but you guys only see it once on the video because I actually ended up piercing it and then when I was trying to put the ring in it didn't fit because I used a bigger ring and the safety pin was smaller and I honestly ripped it I also pierced it through the cartilage my septum never closes it's gauged out of 14 or stretch to a 14, I'm gonna use the right word so I don't get Arr. My second piercing, I would have to say I I added some earring holes to my ears. One on this side and two on this side. I also used a safety pin, not so smart actually. My third piercing would be my nose and once again, I did this with a safety pin. Super smart, I know, and Super worked, of course, when I wanted to put a ring in, which you're super not supposed to do when you pierce your nose because then it heals curved. And yeah, um, I just wasn't the smartest 16 year old, but I really wanted piercings, so I did them myself because I wasn't allowed to go get piercings and I wasn't 18. So a safety pin was my best friend. I do not recommend you guys to pierce yourselves with safety pins. It's super insanitary. Piercings are bigger than a safety pin. So whenever you're gonna try to put your piercing in after piercing with a safety pin, you're always gonna have some trouble because you didn't make the hole big enough, if that makes sense. Also used to have stretched ears and someone put their fingers into my ears and I had rubber silicone ones in at the time and when they went to pull their finger out they actually pulled my gauges out and ripped both of my ears and they ended up bleeding so much and just scabbing up and closing and I never re-stretched them because I didn't have all of the sizes that I used to stretch with and it was a lot of time I took. I did do my lip myself one time and I ended up piercing it too high. There's like a, a weird growth in the inside of my lip. And I pierced it pretty much like through the bottom part right here. And I didn't do it like low enough. So every time that I would have my piercing in, I would end up biting on my piercing and it was super painful because it's like a piece of metal in your mouth and you'd be like eating and then all of a sudden you just chop down on this thing and it sounds like these shocks to your teeth and so I took it out, it closed. After that I repierced it at the professional shop I used to work at called Body Jewels which is a piercing shop and then one night in San Francisco I was really intoxicated and running around in the streets like this. Like literally, I was running around in the streets like this. I don't know why I was doing this, but I was doing this. And I ended up getting arrested, and when you go to jail, they make you take out all your piercings. And so I had to take it out, and then it closed. I tried to put it in the next morning, and it wasn't having it. I got my tongue pierced in San Francisco which is super funny because it was my first professional piercing and I went to one of the stupidest places ever you could go which is a tattoo shop because one reason why it's stupid to go to a tattoo shop for a piercing is because these people are not certified for piercings just because they got certified to put a bunch of needles in you and do tattoos does not mean they are certified to punch needles through you there are other piercing places that you can go to that make their piercers get certified and have like 1400 hours of training and stuff and like basically you just like watch people pierce in your training and pretty much it's their profession that's all they do and it's just way better to go to a piercer than a tattoo shop because you don't always know if the tattooer knows how to actually pierce or has been certified so don't go to tattoo shops, go to piercing shops, it's just a little bit better, or make sure that your tattooer has actually been certified to give piercings. Got it done, and I'm pretty sure the guy was drunk when I got it done, 
because he like, my friend said when he did it, he like pushed it through halfway and then he stopped and then he pushed the other half in. He didn't use clamps and you're supposed to use clamps when you get a tongue ring because the tongue slips back if you're just holding it with your fingers. He took a paper towel and held the end of my tongue and stuck the needle through himself. And my tongue ring is crooked. If you guys can see that. I don't care that it's crooked. It just kind of annoyed me that this was the first time I went to get a professional piercing. And this is what happens. I do not recommend anyone to pierce your tongue yourself because if you didn't know, you can hit a vein and you will bleed and you will die. It's not a joke, you will die. I do also have my belly button pierced and I did do this myself as well because you know, I'm just a do it myself. -er. And this time I actually didn't use a safety pin. I went on Amazon and I bought myself some piercing needles and I also bought myself some handy dandy Clamparoos. Used to have it pierced, I do not anymore. One disadvantage of piercing a belly yourself ends up looking like mine, and there's like not a lot of skin right there. My belly ring would sit sideways, and it was also only on about this much of the metal. Like this much of the metal would be showing, my skin would be on this much, this much of the metal would be showing, and my skin would be on this much. And so I took it out, and I don't think I'm ever going to repurse that again. When I did this myself, I almost passed out. Just go to a piercer, guys. Just wait till you're 18. If your parents don't want you to get piercing, it is not the end of the world. If you still want to punch a hole in your body, then you can do it. Do not do it yourself, because from experience, it's not fun, it doesn't really work, it hurts a lot more, um, you can get infected, um, your piercings will not come out the way they are supposed to, you actually will do something wrong even if you look up everything in the world, you're not a piercer and you have not had training and you could fuck up your body so don't do it. Those are my piercings, now let's get to tattoos. Might as well start with this tattoo right here because it is for you guys. This is my tattoo that kind of represents YouTube to me. Pretty much it has the play pause symbol which is on YouTube and then I also thought that I wanted to put the rewind and the fast forward and the stop button because you guys take my life back, you take my life forward, and you guys also stop me and make me think sometimes. This tattoo right here, this one. This was my second tattoo. I've actually got it done when I was 17, and I got it done by another 17 year old who was working at a shop illegally. And pretty much I got a cover up of this later on because I actually wanted it to look like a corset, and it didn't look like a corset in the beginning. It actually looked like a boot lace, and pretty much people would always ask me what it was and I would have to explain to them that I was a corset and they would be like, oh, it looks like when you tie up your shoe. And yeah, I didn't, I really didn't like it. I actually kind of regret this tattoo. I'm like, I don't know why I put it on my arm, but it's there now and it's there for good. So might as well live it and enjoy it. So this tattoo right here is my first tattoo. And this one's kind of funny. I did get it by the same girl who did the one on my arm right here. I got this when I was 17 and it was like October and so it was kind of like cold out already and pretty much I was trying to hide it from my parents but I also at the time worked with my dad every Saturday at event photography and I would have to take photos and stuff and I didn't have any long sleeve nice clothes so and I also like when I was trying to hide it from them I would like slap on some aquaphor oh and I'd also put scented lotion on it which is really fucking good for your tattoo guys and makes it feel totally awesome. I would wrap it in saran wrap and then I would put on my sweater and I did that for about three days. This complete torture. The tattoo was like felt like it was on fire and that it was itchy and it was all gooey and nasty and I wasn't putting the right stuff on it because I didn't have off before at the time so I didn't know what the fuck off before was and I got this tattoo and um Pretty much after three days, I walked up to my parents in the living room and I just took my sweater off and I was like, I got a tattoo and 
You guys can't do anything about it. It's not like you can take it away from me. And my mom, like, her comes over and she touches it. And she just kind of smiled and she was like, you couldn't wait three months? Because I was going to be 18 in three months. And so she just kind of was like, well, I already knew it was going to happen. So they weren't very shocked. I didn't really phase them. I, I wasn't allowed to dye my hair until I was 18, but look what happened. There is this one that says, live, love, life. And it is a heartbeat symbol. And I actually just got this as a reminder for whenever I'm feeling down to look at this and just pause and reflect and just be thankful for what I have and love my life. And it's just a pretty simple reminder that it's telling me to live and love my life. Of course, have these ones that say, Mom and Dad are also kind of hard to show because like, um, my wrist all crooked. Um, I've been going to the same artist for all my stuff besides these two tattoos for three years now. And I really like him. And pretty much I just saw a heart on Tumblr one time and it said love on it and then it also made a heart. And I just thought, hey, I want to put my mom and my dad's name in those hearts. And then I actually got them linked together because they were together. And then, of course, I have this one, which is my half sleeve on one of my arms. And it has a snake in it. It has a girl with half of a skull face. And pretty much what that means, she has half of a face and half of a real face. And what that pretty much represents is I seen another face on Tumblr one time and it was just drawn and it said beauty is only skin deep. And it really, really, really likes that concept because I feel like now society has such high standards for all girls and stuff for them to live up to and they're just unrealistic because half the time that shit's edited and it's not real and so I just wanted to get something to not only help me but help other people know that beauty's only skin deep I don't I just don't think like that I don't think like oh my god I'm hot shit like I really don't like all the stuff going around. I don't like plastic surgery. I don't like people. Like, there's some fucked up things going on nowadays that make people have really, really low self esteem. And it's society's fault. And pretty much the snake is there to represent that I won't be corrupt and I won't be influenced by all that media and all that stuff that's trying to make me beautiful. I have a dream catcher on my leg and I got the smart idea to get marijuana leaves instead of feathers on the dream catcher because if you didn't know when you smoke weed and you go to sleep you never reach the third stage of sleep which is REM and no maybe that's wrong maybe that's right I don't know I haven't been in high school for a while but it's pretty much the stage where you dream so you don't dream while you go to sleep while you're high and pretty much I got a dream catcher because I was like oh dream catcher like we will catch your dreams like fucking stupid um I've actually only got the outline because I always eventually planned to cover it up with feathers and I never I always thought that I would come to that point when I was an adult and I wouldn't like it anymore so I left the option open for me to cover it up later if I want to. I hope you guys like this video and I hope this gave you guys all the information you wanted on my tattoos and piercings. Please go to a professional and please wait until you're 18 to get a tattoo. Um, there's just things you should wait for and think there's reasons why there is an age limit for those things because trust me, you are not mature right now. I'm way more mature than I was at 16 and I'm still not mature so just wait it's worth it I mean you feel like better because you're like hey I just went and did this myself I didn't need my mom to come with me power to you if your parents let you get piercings I'm personally a little jealous because I could save myself a safety pin or two my camera keeps running out of battery so I'm just gonna say bye and I love you guys